Hello, English 122 students. I'm here to show you how to find your assessed and graded essay 4 inside D2L. This is the first time in the semester that I have returned your essay writing to you through D2L, so I just want to make sure you know how to find it. So you'll notice I'm logged in. Um, I am on the announcements page, and there are two places you can get the information. The first place is in the gradebook. So scroll down to the bottom where you will see a note from me about how I'm returning your essay to you, um, your grade. And then what you're going to need to do is to click on the view inline feedback. This actually isn't the best way to get to it, but it will at least show you where I have marked things in your draft. So I've just uploaded a cover letter that I've used to apply for a job in the past. And you'll see that I've put these highlighted um, they look like bingo dabbers to me, you know, the, the, the little bottle that you can, you know, stamp onto your bingo card. But what I'm doing with these, these highlighted spots is showing you where there are errors. You might see a number on top of them. I didn't type any numbers into this document, but the numbers are related to that blue 20 most common error sheet. And then you can see where some of your um, editing corrections will need to be made. But as I just mentioned to you, that's not the best screen. So I'm back in D2L um, in the grade book where I showed you before. That gets you to the inline feedback. <clears throat> Excuse me. But the better place to go is activities, assignments. Go to where you submitted essay four. So you'll see down here where I say where you uploaded essay four that it has um, feedback has been returned to you. See your grade here as well. And it will say feedback unread, just like it that says right here. So you can click on unread, and it will take you into everything I've returned to you. So this is the better screen, y'all. Um, the inline feedback is here. I've attached the 20 most common errors sheet just in case you need it. And then this is the that light green assessment feedback sheet that I attached to the front of your draft. And when you click on it, um, you can see, well, I guess it downloads, and then you have to open it, as you see me doing. And then um, it'll open up in Word. Actually, I've saved the file in rich text format, so it should probably open up in any uh, word processing um, program you're using. But you'll see that I'm using um, yellow to indicate um, the rating you've received for the criterion, uh, each individual criterion, and then at the bottom there are some strengths, some comments that I've provided, and some things you can think about revising. One last thing I want to show you, you all is um, I noticed this morning when I was uploading a different file that it's giving me an error message. So if you, oh, yep, it's going to give me the error message. So if this happens to you, um, let me know. Um, so that I can get you your um, assessed file with the the highlighted spots. Um, and this is just inside D2L. I've noticed in the last day that it's doing this um, sometimes, and it's doing it a lot more than it has um, earlier in the semester. And I think it's because we're moving from D2L to a different program called My Courses. So there may be some little glitchy things happening, but I did get it to work with this other file this morning. So hopefully everything works out and you get to get your file with the highlighting in it so you can make revisions. And that's all I have on that, y'all. I hope you have a great weekend, and I look forward to seeing you at check-in meetings next week. Take care.